Hey everyone, it's David Bumble. Just want to tell you about a new course that I'm creating, which is ethical hacking using Wireshark. I want to teach you how to use Wireshark. It's important that you as a network engineer know how to use Wireshark. It's one of those fundamental tools that you need for analyzing networks and troubleshooting networks. However, to make it more interesting, I'm going to show you how to do ethical hacking and other cool things using Wireshark and GNS3. In this example, it's going to be voice over IP traffic. In other words, we're going to capture traffic between virtual phones, as shown here, as well as virtual phones and physical phones. I'm going to make calls between these two phones, and then we're going to capture the traffic and then replay the voice call. And we're going to use Wireshark for that. This is my second call. David Bumble speaking to himself. Click play streams. And there's our voice call. This is my second call. David Bommel speaking to himself. One of the best ways to learn is to have fun while you're learning. So learn a primary skill, which is Wireshark. So learn how to use Wireshark. But as a secondary skill, learn how to capture packets and do ethical hacking so that you can better secure your network. Notice here, authentication type is simple password. So is authentication used? Yes, it is. So authentication is simple. Simple password is used, a very bad idea. But that's what we've got here. Notice here's the password. It's OSPF pass. So that is the password. Not a good idea to use clear text protocols in a network. It's very, very simple to capture the passwords. There you go. There's the password shown clearly in the Wireshark capture. So be careful using clear text passwords. With OSPF, we actually want to use MD5, not clear text. Router's prompting for the password. Notice the source IP address is 10.1.1.254. That is the router asking the user for their password. So in other words, the enable password. User type, C-I-S-C-O, presses carriage return. And then type show run, R-U-N, there's run, pressed carriage return. Router is building the configuration and then displaying the configuration. Now that's okay, but it's not very easy to read that. So what I'm simply gonna do is go to the first entry and right click and type follow TCP stream. And notice that there you go you get all of that information in one screen. So, password, Telnet password is Cisco. Typed enable, password typed is Cisco. Notice we've got blue and red here. So blue is the router prompting the user, red is what the user is typing. Okay, so let's capture some other protocols. I'm gonna start a capture on this link because this is my server. Using TFTP, destination file name is this. We're getting acknowledgements, we're seeing various information, but what I'm gonna do here is follow the UDP stream. TFTP uses UDP. So notice what I can see. I can see the full running configuration of the router, including the DHCP pool information. I can see IP addresses. I can see passwords. So notice there's the Telnet password. Scrolling up, user made a big mistake. The enable password is in clear text. So they used the enable password rather than the secret password. Secret is encrypted or hashed, whereas the enable password is in clear text. So just by capturing traffic on the wire, I was able to grab the passwords of the router and the full configuration of the router. Be careful using TFTP in a network. So if you want to learn more and have a bit of fun, please click the Buy Now button and join me in my Ethical Hacking Using Wireshark course. I'm David Bumble once again. I want to wish you all the very best.